Lightroom allows us to personalize additional interface components by configuring an identity plate. To do so, click the Lightroom button and from the menu select Identity Plate Setup. By default, we can see that the Lightroom Identity Plate is selected. Let's custom configure our Identity Plate by selecting the Personalized option. In the text box here to the left, type in My Photography Studio. You'll notice that the text here has been updated. This is just one of the many ways you can personalize the Lightroom interface. We can also change the font, face, style, and size of this text. Let's go ahead and choose something a little bit more interesting. Just remember to highlight the text first. And make sure you choose a font size that fits within this area over here. You can also change the color of the text. In addition to that, we can also change the font face, style, and size of the buttons over here at the right side of the interface. So let's go ahead and change these as well. And again, we can change the color. The left color box is for the active module. So right now, since we're in the library, that's why it's white. And the second color box is for the inactive modules. Another interesting feature is adding a customized image to our identity plate rather than text. To do so, simply select this option here, and we'll need to select a file from our computer. So click the Locate File button, and this is the image I'd want to use. It's just something I created in Photoshop. And you can see that instead of the text, an image is now visible here. Now to save this Identity Plate preset, click the Select menu, and then select Save As. Give this preset a name. And click Save. So you'll notice that this is now available in your list. And you can have many of these if you like. The identity plate settings here will be visible throughout Lightroom to brand your prints, slideshows, and some websites. You'll see firsthand as we progress through the course how the identity plate is used. So I'm going to go back to text here. And so I'll leave it at that and click OK.